And hello everybody, welcome to another episode of Dyson Sphere Program. Today, well, today our goal is to make an interstellar logistics station. Now as you can see, that needs particle containers, which we are already making on the other planet. As you can see, I've already gone and done a run there and grabbed a bunch of stuff. We need a planetary logistics station, see above. And we need titanium alloy, which is titanium iron uh, iron bars and this stuff. Well, I got a bunch of titanium on me. And speaking of which, I sh should actually probably go get a chest of some form. Because I'm going to need it. Uh, do I have one free that I can steal? Uh, well, those I'm probably going to need. You know what? I can just steal this top one. Oop. Okay. Now we're back here. Let's get our uh, foundations going. Oops. Uh, hopefully that doesn't kill the water. No idea what to do if it does. No, you're still making water. That doesn't make any sense. But anyways. I'm going to set up a planetary logistics station here. get you hooked into power which honestly I think I forgot to do in the last one so I want that and I want to demand that and we'll give you your own shuttles and I need more well basically everything pretty much Oh, there's a lot of you going. Okay. Yeah, I forgot to hook you into power. So let's get that solved. There we go. So let's go here. We'll not grab a bunch of that. Um. Yeah, let's go get that titanium put dropped off. And then I can go from there. Oh, it's alt to land. I keep forgetting that. Let's get uh, all that transferred over. That frees up a bunch of room. Okay. It's actually kind of cool being able to do that. And watching that's actually kind of neat. Okay. I'll be so happy when I can start upgrading a lot of these things. But, uh... Let's get a whole whack of them going. And let's, uh... Just get rid of whatever that letter was. So... In order to make, where was it? I, uh, that's plastic. That's not what I needed. Ah, here it is. Titanium alloy. I need a smelter, and I need four titanium, four iron, and probably eight of that stuff. So, let's see, that smelter there, uh, let's put that about there. You are going to be selecting that, grab that from there. And 
It's uh, that one. Get that going in there. And yeah, no, I didn't think. I can never quite remember some of the items that can or can't maneuver like that. And we'll get some power there. And I need to make another conveyor. Which I need copper for. And there's my copper supply. Just grab that. You know what? Can I set that? Uh, yeah, I want to set that filter to titanium. Because this chest is going to double. Can I get double stack? Get. That to there, that to there. And I need at least two of you. Oops. Set it to two, then I clicked it twice. <laughs> eh, just what happens. You can go there, you can go there. And you can sit there. And logically enough, I want that. Yeah, logically enough, the farther these things got to travel, the slower they are. Like, uh, yeah. And that's yeah, no, that's what I need. So how do I pick that stuff up? Well, I guess I could do that. Okay, so we got 12 so far, well, 16 so far, and we need a grand total of 40. So, uh, which means I need 80, because I want to get this trade going between the two planets, just so I can start making everything properly, and then we're going to be reorganizing pretty much everything. So to that end, I'll be back in just a little bit. And we're back, and as you can see, we got uh, all the materials we need. So I should be able to make two of these. Now I only need one, well, I'm only going to put one per planet right now, simply because, well, I really don't have the resources or time to work for anything else. One I'm thinking is going to go in here because I need to transport the uh, carbon mesh and pull titanium. Yeah. Hmm. You know what? I think I'll do this a little bit differently then. I'll go there. You're going to go the carbon mesh. You're going to supply that. Get you in there. And we'll give you shuttles. So hopefully this will work.
but I should probably get some some power. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get our immediate production of various different things up and running. And leave it at that. And then I'm going to start thinking about how to uh, reorganize the base. Okay, so first thing... Oops. Is I want to... You're fine just dumping for now. But I want one of these... Oop. Whoa, those are big guys. I'm going to want one of them out here somewhere. Let's just slap that down there. Close out all those. So I can actually see what I'm doing. And let's see. I go... there. You are going to request titanium and give you your own chips. And of course make sure you have power. Let's go there. Hit Yep, that's what I want. And you can go sh stop going cockeyed on me, please. You can just merge into there. So you're going to request titanium as soon as it's up. And you are crammed in here. Hmm. Can I fit that in anywhere easy? I suppose I could put it there. Actually, I don't even need to do that. Dismantle that. Because I can set you demand titanium and we'll set you to titanium and that'll get you fully set up good so I got the two items that need titanium theoretically set up. Can't remember if there's another group that needs titanium over here. I think there is now that I'm thinking about it. But uh, I just can't remember where. So those are all set up for everything. And let's see, let's just uh, go over here. Oh, I don't need you. Did I kill power anywhere? No. Okay. Let's start uh, getting ourselves another foundation here. You're in my way. So let's get our main hub set up. You and have established an interstellar logistics station and opened the first node of logistics transportation among the planets. With it, no need to transport cargo between planets manually anymore. Just set to remote supply mm. in the site on the raw material supply planet. The logistics vessel will bring the cargo to the other planets with corresponding remote demand sites accordingly. 
Setting local supply and demand can also inherit the functions hmm. of an ordinary logistic station at the same time. Hmm, supply that. And titanium is local demand. And those are the two. And I need to make some of these. Which, uh, needs reinforced thrusters, which means I need the titanium alloy. Which means, well, I'm making a bunch of it. I'll probably just make a, how many of these can this thing hold? Uh, you won't tell me. That needs titanium alloy too, for everything you're doing. Hmm. Well, yeah, I can set that up. You're going to supply titanium alloy. I think it's remote demand. I'm not entirely certain. Um, let's get that titanium alloy hooked in so that uh, this one over here is going to be able to gather it. Hmm. Let's uh, quickly gather that stuff. We will bust that. And you will supply that. Realistically, I could hook this in and just remove that. Actually, you know what? I think I will. You are also going to demand that one. And I have way too much stuff in my inventory. Yeah, you can go in there. Oh, nice. Well, that's uh, something interesting. put you in there. Okay. So that in theory should have all this stuff set up. Once I get the titanium flowing that is. Okay, so do you need anything going into you or those ships gonna do it. Hmm. Don't know. But let's uh if having more of those together, is that gonna speed up your charge? Well, a little bit. Well time to get to the other planet. Where is it at the moment? Uh, yeah, you're a bit of ways. And where are you again? It gets very disorienting on this uh, particular game. Especially when trying to move between planets. Uh, 
and I'm going the absolute wrong way. There we are. Really wish I could set an auto navigation of, hey, go here. But uh, no, they don't let us do that. Theoretically, in space, I can't run out of energy. Well, I can, I just won't slow down. And here we go. I chucked some other titanium over into a yellow research just to get it kicking over a little bit. Okay, so for here... Well, let's just sit down. Let's uh, test something out. So if I grab that and set you there... You are going to demand, you're going to supply titanium. You're going to demand the titanium alloy and demand the carbon fiber. Uh, yeah. So you're going to, mm, yeah, for your uh, remote demand. And that's going to charge up and now I got to get over here and I got to make a couple of ships. Okay, so to make these I need you which means I need the pulse, which we're making here. That's no big dish deal. And I need those, which again, we're making here, so it's no big deal. Let's see, where is that storage? Let's just grab that. And where was I had those pulse engines being made? Ah, here we are. Nope. You are uh, not storing any. Well, that's not going to help me in the slightest. So we'll quietly break you. Let you build up some. How many am I going to need? Uh, it's two per and that's five per so I need ten per transport so 20 of these um, I'll be back in just a little bit well it turns out that uh, I was kind of let those build up and yeah as I said and everything else I guess and I came to a startling realization when I went to go make one and that realization is, I left all the titanium here. So, yeah, that didn't actually help me much. So that being said, I believe I had those rockets, those uh, motors building over here. Uh, doesn't actually look like it now that I'm thinking about it. Well, I can uh, still build at least one, which I think we'll do. 
get that building. And that's just some motors and that. And those are... I should be able to build all of that if I really wanted to. I just need some copper and some iron. You know what? Let's just do it. Oop. Uh, open the inventory, please. Okay, so I should be able to now make another two of those. That's good. Still, let's get uh, one in here and see how that all works. Let's see, where are you when you built? Here we are. Or do you need to actually... That's remote demand. That's remote supply. That can I get it working? You see, that's that's the problem. Is I really don't know anything about this stuff. In theory, could have sworn these things will link in with. Uh, that's why those were there. Hmm. I think I have that. It's got a local demand and a remote supply. Yes. And that's got a local supply and a remote demand. Again, yes. And that's got a local supply and a remote demand. So, why isn't this working? Um, yeah, I set that up on the other planet. So those ships are supposed, supposedly supposed to fly into here, load up our freighters, and the freighters are supposed to go. At least it's what I assume is supposed to happen. I'm not 100% certain anymore. Uh, I think I'm going to have to go and research this a little bit. Let's grab another two of you. How many more of those that, does that make me make? Two. And it's because I'm out of iron. Well, it's, I'm sitting in the right, middle of the right resource field. Now, I'm betting that each of these is a burst, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight freighters per unit. At least that's what I'm kind of thinking. You're uh, staying at that fuel level, that's fine. Hmm. Well, I'm going to uh, go do some research on this, because I uh, evidently don't know how to set these things up. So I will be back. Well, according to what I've read, this should be working. But it's not. So I'm going to try something probably idiotic. Meh, it's worth a shot. So let's put you there. And you are going to demand titanium, supply.
supply carbon fiber and supply titanium alloy. And you are going to go, uh-oh, no, let's just get these three sorted out. So you are going to be carbon fiber. You can be titanium alloy. Which means I need to uh, remove you. Put you... No, that's wrong. I need one out and three in, and two in, sorry. Come on. Go there, there, nope, already messed up. Nope, quit trying to skip over to there. You're going to be titanium. You are going to be carbon fiber. You are going to be the titanium alloy. So now I should just be able to link. Fuck okay. off. And I'm out. Okay. Keep running out of these things. Of course, it'd be a lot better if I was willing to splurge for the higher levels, but uh, that's going to wait until I get everything else set up. You're going in. You're going to go to there, to there, to there. You're going to go to there, to there, to there. And theoretically, as long as I hook you up to power, you should start receiving these, which is going to kick it out there. Now I want you to supply titanium and demand those. Then will I get that working? Well, here coming the fleet of sh the swarm of ships. And there goes some of the materials. Okay, you're now building up. So are you. And there you go, breaking the system. So you are local demand. And that's like that, maybe? Those are marked storage. Mm. Oh. Did I get that working this time around? building up. Let's 
So are you. Um. So are any of you guys going to be taking off soon, or...? No, let's, uh, we'll keep that there. Hmm. This is not going to go anywhere simply because I need titanium for it. Your local demand, local supply. That's a remote demand. I really have no idea. Um, yeah, I'm going to have to go looking stuff up on YouTube. Oops. More titanium. So I'm going to turn around and make, uh, try to fill these things up, then head back to the other planet, see if I can figure it out there, I think. I really have no clue. Short on more iron. Hmm. I'll be back. And welcome back everybody and as you can see they are flying those are the logistic ships and actually I can use them as a way to determine where I want to go coming here to this and they're setting up everything so you are a local demand and a remote supply. No, you're a local supply and a remote demand. And that is a local demand and a remote supply. And we will find out fairly quickly. It's What's the other way around? I got one side working and I can't even remember how to how I got it working. <laughs> that doesn't help me in the slightest. Let's first of all get those ships in there. But uh yeah, I need to get the titanium in here. 
So that's the local demand. And that's the wrong way. And that'd be why that's not working, at least, just because I didn't hook that tit titanium up. Okay, so. Uh, you come in there to that. So let's get our just normal logistics hub set it up like that. You are going to be titanium and yeah, you're going to supply titanium. And simply because of where I got it set up, yeah, it's not going to work. Hmm. It's interesting how it won't let me do that. Okay. So I'll move it around a little bit. See if I can get this fully set up and figured out. So put that there. You can go like that. You are going to supply titanium. We'll get you hooked in. What we should see is the drones taking off to go and supply the titanium to the main hub. Oh, uh, yeah. Helps if you give it drones. Okay, so there's, it's flying off with the titanium. It'll fuel up over here. So now it's coming in and dropping the titanium off. It's got 65, 68 in the route. Now once it gets enough cargo, it should send off one of these. Which, uh, you know what? I'm going to give you a supply of your own drones. And I could have sworn I made a bunch of the bigger vessels. I didn't use them all, did I? That's eight of eight. So you now you've now got a bunch of. Uh, in store a uh, bunch of the titanium alloy and mesh so I can get those set up over here so the mesh is needed right here so let's just uh, clean that up we'll get our transportation grid in place You are going to mesh. You can demand. We'll give you drones because I had them making for way too long. So you are going to come out as a mesh. And now that I got uh, resource space, hey, come on, don't do that. Where'd it go? That's what I needed. So you will take that. So you've got energy, you're demanding those. Got drones. And you are set to 
local supply remote demand maybe local cement yeah that should be right yeah we can see this uh, unit going now it should and there they are so let's pull all those up and just chuck them in there because that way I don't have to deal with them anymore so titanium is over here that's supplying and there's one other item that I needed from over here Ah, uh, who knows? But uh, now that we got that figured out, yes, these beacons can interact with each other, which is great. What it needs to be is anything that you've got local that you want to send to another planet, you've got to set it to a local demand and a remote supply. What it means is the towers can request the resources and then it's going to send the resources to another planet. Likewise, anything you want sent here, you do the reverse. And so it, it'll be a local supply and a uh, remote demand. Now here the storage, using the storage setting, basically turns the, the this particular thing into a giant storage silo. It won't send or receive anything. It just basically it turns into a storage site. But uh, there you see our interplanetary ships are in there and that sh they should be loading up with titanium. And there's their, one of the transport ships going right now. So we got this figured out. It was not quite as intuitive as I thought, but I'm kind of blind and miss that sort of stuff quite frequently, so that's probably my fault. That being said, uh, this is probably enough, so uh, we're going to call it here today. Uh, next episode, I'll probably show you a quick setup as to how I'm going to set up my grids to maximize production of everything and we'll go from there so to that end this is zeo fate signing out